Racewell HD4, set up here, ready to use. Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep's the game, and we've got something exciting to tell you about today. Very exciting actually. It's this. It's not just this though, because it's this as well. We have our very own Tapari system. Racewell HD4, set up here, ready to use. Wow. Like this is insane. This is insane. And you know, it's one of those like cheesy social media posts where you're like, oh, it's all thanks to you guys. But the actual thing is, it is thanks to you guys watching because like, you know, I've got this here. We've done a deal with Tapari. We're in partnership with them now and they've dropped off this for me to use for at least the next year, hopefully longer. But for at least the next year, I'm going to be using this for my using lambs, for our treatments, for our dozing, for everything this fantastic machine does. And I'm excited to show you all the things it can do. Giles and Eric from Tapari UK were in last week and dropped this off. We got a little chat with Giles, here he is here. Morning sheep fans, I'm Giles from Tapari Products. Just recently delivered this race well to Cami and we are excited to see him using it and making his life a lot easier. Just wanted to give you the message that we are selling direct to farmers now. Up till recently, we have been selling our products through resellers, but we believe that selling direct now to farmers gives the product the backup it needs we have full parts in stock. We live and breathe the Tapari brand. Yeah, really happy to support Cami and his sheep venture down here in Ayrshire. Really looking forward to seeing him show you guys what this machine can do over the next year, because it can do all your handling needs in one unit. I put them under pressure there, but the crux of it is Tapari now do it all. They build these machines, design them, they sell them. They're the after sales feedback. They help you set them up. Any problems, you just lift the phone and they'll sort you out. So that's the crux of it, and I'm really happy to be working with them. For me, it is the best. Like, I've, I've seen all these machines. For me, this is the best. And as you guys know, if I'm working with companies, like when I work with CF Moto for the quad bikes, and I work with Flockwatch, with the apps for the software, I'm very honest and say, I'm not saying they're the best because I've never used any other ones. But I've been at loads of farms, used loads of different ones of these, and for me, this is the best. And I'm happy to say that for this to parry. So let's use that a bit. We're just going to give you an initial demo. Like, this is going to be a short video because I don't want to spoil it by showing you all the tricks of this thing. But we've got some rams in. Marissa's standing here with them. There's only water in this gun. So we're only going to doze them with water because there's nothing to doze rams with at this time of year. We do them for fluke in the winter, but they never get wormed. So we're going to use water just to show you an example. But you'll see plenty of real life dozing lambs, etc. when the time comes. I'm just too excited to use it. I can't wait any longer. Let's put this thing to work. In case anyone was wondering, I weighed myself at the start here on the scales. I'm 88 kilos. I was 91 at Scott Sheep, which was about two weeks ago. So I've lost three kilos already this shearing season. We've got Lizzie here helping, Marissa on the camera. The idea is this would be like a one-man system, which or one woman system, of course, <laughs> which it really should be once we're organised. But everybody's here anyway, so we may as well do it. We're going to mark lambs after this. Okay, here we go. And we've got them there. If anything, we'll maybe catch them a little far back, but let's just move these eyes. So hopefully that'll adjust it. You see there it's weighed them at 82.7 kilos, 16.5 is the dose. Gun says 16.5. Grab the head, gun in, pull the trigger, dose goes. Now this will hold 14 mil, so it does a double dose, so it gives it a well that divides it up and gives it two doses. Dead simple, press release. There you go, laddie. There you go. Oh, he's a big boy. 97.8 kilos. And it sets my gun to 19.6. Now, rather than, it's just water that's in here, as I said. So rather than show you, I'll just press the trigger. Or rather than doze them, I'll just press the trigger. And you see how one pull and it does that. Release him, well done, lad. Straight in after behind it, caught the blue face Lester, it's 93.9. Again, gun set to 18.8. I could doze him his drink of water, but he'll get it back in fuel. Trigger, fires it out, press release. 
Now see, here's a weird one coming. Let's see if it catches this, because I've got it set big and wide for this cup. Here's the next one coming. Oh, it's dead. And that is... 40.9 kilos. This is actually a lamb from last year off a of Shetland that we've had for absolutely ages and just never got rid of. So it's a weather that's we're all very fond of now. Only 0.8 for that one. That give you a wee drink of water. Might, might help you grow a bit. So that's a, a simple wee dunt there and then release. So if you have an emergency, you can just quickly flick this close gate. It shuts that gate there so you have no more problems. And what I'm going to do now is show you. You've seen the dozing gun. I'm not going to show you all the tricks, as I said. This is a very early intro video with some rams going run through here. I'm excited to weigh lambs on it, that'll be the fun thing, and use this auto draft system. Pan round there, Marissa. It sheds four ways, you can use this gate as well. All very exciting. But what I want to show you is, say for example, set that back to auto. I'm standing at the back here. And you just want to pick out the odd sheep. Say you just want to do your lame sheep, for example. I'll stand at the back here with my remote. So I stand back here with my remote. Obviously the sheep will be running. Oh, hang on, I nearly forgot. Make sure the auto catch the manual. Oh, let that one run. I want this one. Press the clamp button. It is rapid. And then say right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the feet as I'm walking up here. I press the up button and I tilt them over. So it's like that. Up. Nice easy access to the feet here. Sort, 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 sort. If you're old fashioned, you still trim feet. We never trim feet here, but if you're old fashioned and still do it, that's absolutely fine. Trim, 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 trim. Put them back. Stick the leg in there. Put them back down. Off it goes. And wait for the next one I want. Here's the next one coming in. Rapid. He's a hundred and five kilos. Absolute beast. And same. Bring him over. Sort his feet. Yeah, do that. Press this. Give him easier access. Sort that. Put him back down. Release him. Hopefully he goes forward. Go on, laddie. Off he goes. And then the next one comes. Now, see, this one's good feet. I don't want to catch this one. Just let it run right through. Like, what gets me is how fast, like, it's so responsive, it's like bang, catches them. 107 kilos this Texel. So. And same story, like, if I, I just love playing about with this, but if I just keep pressing. Bring him over. Sit him down. I'm such a child. You know, you can do all sorts, condition score. I could actually get my click on here. Really nice if we were doing that. These probably will need click at some point. Check teeth, yeah, good point, Lizzie. Check the teeth, what they like. Good teeth on this here. Check his testicles, you know, if you're doing your pre. How easy is that doing that rather than jumping about in a race? Oh, good. Good solid top. I'm finished with him. Obviously, our main thing is going to be dozing sheep, dozing lambs, vaccinating sheep. Weighing lambs is going to be the big one that's coming up soon, so there's going to be loads more to use this for that will show you all the functions. That was just a wee example with some rams, just because I was so excited I had to use it for something. Hope you've enjoyed this one, sheep fans. Thanks very much for all the support that's led to us having this here. Like, don't think we're in the big time in terms of making money off YouTube or anything like that, because we're a long way off it. But hopefully one day we will be. I mean, let's not kid on. It's going to help us buy a farm someday, hopefully. But for now, this is thanks to you guys watching, supporting the channel, all the positive feedback, and thanks to Tapari for coming on board and taking the chance here. Let's make the most of this machine. See you for the next one, sheep fans. Yeah. So as you can see, Cammy, that's actually connected, connected now, this the trench gun. Already. Um, oh, but there's no cable to it? <laughs> no, no, just Wi-Fi. No cables. <laughs> wi -Fi. Uh, okay, that's quite good. <laughs> I don't know why I thought there was a cable. That's, that's quite yeah. good. I don't know oh. what I was thinking. I thought... Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm maybe used to thinking it's got the dozing stuff on it. So you always see it with something on it. I'm forgetting you need to you yeah. still attach the... The, the, dr the, the, the drench isn't the Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next level, we can't <laughs> <laughs> drench Wi-Fi. That, that's, that's the next thing. <laughs> Aye, that's the next thing. Get, get working on it.